Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past. Got your Friday What Sold on eBay video going. Um, got 25 items that sold uh, around late April, early May. And we have a wide variety. I don't list all the sold items. But I just pick a wide variety of stuff that did sell. So jump right in. I took an offer of $28 on this rug, this Ralph Lauren Rugby 100% wool sweater. I only had probably three, four dollars into this. It's pretty cool. It's heavy duty. See that? Yeah. So $28 plus uh, $7.90 shipping. So $35.90 all in. Next we have. This was random. This was a uh, a Mr. Music Room, uh, like a hits cassette collection, and this was uh, actually made for the Malaysian market. And it has, you know, a lot of uh, Paul Simon, Lionel Richie, Moody Blues, Heart, Bruce Springsteen, three different Bruce Springsteens, four different Bruce Springsteens. Yeah, Bob Seger, Billy Joel. So it was pretty cool. And I only gave like 50 cents for this thing. And, and what's funny is, look, it almost looks like it was like dubbed or something. But this was made specifically for the, oh, the I said Malaysia, Indonesian market. And this was a, a real thing. But uh, sold it for 10 bucks plus 470, you know, medium mail shipping. So for 50 cents and for $14.70, it's not that bad. Now look at the horrible picture. <laughs> So I must have had this one for a little while, but I remember when I got this, I got this for $15 at my normal half price thrift store and it was brand new in the box. The box was very shelf worn. It was all beat up, but it was sealed. Brand new, this Friedland security alarm system. And actually, this was made for the, the either European or British market, and that's where it went. It sold in the global shipping program, and it went back over to uh, England. Ninety-four dollars and a penny, seventeen seventy shipping to Kentucky, where they shipped it on to England. So it was a really good sale from fifteen dollars, even though it was long tail. Still good money made there. Next, we have this set of CDs. This Wagner. The German classical music set. There's 14 discs in this set. And I gave $2 for this set. And I got $20 plus $7.90 shipping. $27.90 all in. They actually paid for expedited shipping even though I offered both priority and media mail on this. So, yeah, good sale. A remote that's old. Uh, it's one of my 50 cent remotes. It's a vintage Sony Commander. Remember about these? Always check the uh, battery compartment. Make there's no, make sure there's no uh, battery acid corrosion. I take pictures of the compartment. See that? But 50 cents, seven dollars 69 cents plus 5.15 first class shipping. So not bad. It's a pretty, yeah. These long, the remotes are long tail, but good sell. Some ink, um, it's expired, 2013. And that's as about as far back as I'm going now. It's about five years on the expired ink. Um, I picked this up for $2.50 and it sold for $15 plus $3.75 first class shipping. This was the dual pack of color, number 95 HP ink. Except brand new in the package, just uh, expired. Doesn't, I mean, it obviously works or people wouldn't buy them. So, yeah. But like I said, my limit, my personal limit is five years. So. Next we have this Ralph Lauren Jeans Company, this women's 2X denim jacket. I don't know what we gave for this, but I'm sure it was 250 or 350 or so. Really good condition. Yeah, check that out, the Lauren Jeans Company. 98% cotton with some spandex. Give it that little stretch that people like nowadays. But yeah, really good condition. 
$24.99 plus $7.90 shipping. Next we have this Jensen CD player. I've seen people where they found the Sony's, the, the, the CD Walkmans and stuff, and those go for big money brand new. This one not so much, but I only gave $2.50 for this. So, you know, I got $27.79 plus $5.15 shipping. So, you know, still made money, but just not that big, big, huge money like those Sony's bring. That reminds me of the, uh, at my regular half price, price thrift store, we hadn't, we had just moved here and we'd probably been going there a couple months and I was getting my eBay store really ramped up and I walked in one day and they had 28 of the micro cassette recorders and most people know that those bring big money new, but these weren't Sony, they were an off brand, they were a Craig micro, micro cassette recorder and they were uh, $3 a piece. So they were half off and they were marked for $5.99. Like I said, there was 28 of them. And I just put them all in the basket. I just kind of knew at $3 a piece I would do well. In my own mind, I was thinking, you know, 30, 40 bucks. But those micro cassette recorders, and I wish I could go back and see, but you know, it doesn't go back that far. I sold all of them in just a couple months for $100 a piece. It was amazing. You know, I spent 60 some odd dollars and I made you know 2800 bucks from that you know minus fees so that's a good story but don't come across those types of deals every day but yeah the cd players keep an eye out for them this is a really old picture because i have it on my uh kitchen countertop here this lot of hilo hattie mugs a lot of six of them i probably wouldn't buy these again uh, but they did sell you know we probably had three dollars into them uh, Fifteen dollars plus eight fifty shipping. Next, we have this Mealy uh, box of five vacuum cleaner bags. Uh, you know, don't bring huge money, but look out for the Mealy stuff when you see it. You know, Mealy's a really good vacuum cleaner. Look out for the vacuum cleaners themselves because they can bring big money. But the parts, the pieces, the accessories, the bags also sell for decent money. Gave just a uh, dollar or two for these bags. And uh, got twelve dollars and ten cents plus five fifteen shipping. We find even our bags for our own vacuum cleaners and thrift stores brand new all the time, so that's another thing to think about. Next, we have this set of Marsmatic technical pins. These are for like drafting and uh, artists and stuff like that. And picked this up for just a couple dollars and uh, sold really quickly for $24.99 plus $7.25 shipping. And like I said before, I mark my stuff probably at the high end of the range of what stuff is sold for historically. And uh, when something sells really quickly like this did, I'm like, oh, did I price it too low? But I didn't. You know, I price it at the top end of the range because I'm a... I've talked about it before, there's different philosophies. I'm a slow dime rather than a fast nickel. I understand people that fast nickel it because they need the cash turnover, but I, I can afford to be more patient. And uh, yeah, these were marked at the high end and they sold really quickly. I mean, they were really good condition, almost like new. Really nice set and that's probably another factor why they sold pretty quickly. But yeah, really cool set. And next, we, oh, this was awesome. I found this at, uh, yeah, obviously one of our, our local thrift stores. And this was at the tail end of winter this past year. So, it like February or so, maybe March. And this sold within, a, you know, like four to six weeks or so. And this is just an awesome L.L. Bean leather bomber jacket. Yeah, just so cool. Extra large, tall, the good size, made in the USA. And I gave 20 bucks for this. Like, what? 20 bucks? Yeah, $20. Had a few little spots, you know, it wasn't perfect, but it was in really good condition. No rips, tears, or stains. Took a lot of pictures. Yeah, let's see, there's a couple of spots I had on it. 
but the the fabric was really good you know the band around the waist was really really good condition just an awesome jacket and this sold for $245 plus $1110 priority shipping just an awesome sell you know one of those things I wished I could find those all the time but these are fairly rare you know so keep an eye out though next we have this uh, craftsman air hose I picked this up for seven dollars and fifty cents which you know doesn't create a big margin this is brand new the the package was all shelf worn but it's just brand new you can tell nothing had ever been used on the ends the brass you know was tarnished a little bit but that's what happens to brass hose itself just brand new $25 plus $8.50 shipping so even paying $7.50 for that you know I made what about $13 $14 profit after fees and sold relatively quickly so this one's really cool my wife found this little throw pillow you know and I wouldn't have gave it given it a second look you know it wouldn't even have crossed my mind what this was and this is a uh, the PS is a Photoshop logo so it's a Photoshop logo throw pillow 10 inch by 10 inch and we gave less than a dollar for this and it sold super quick for twenty dollars plus five fifteen shipping so yeah don't ignore your throw pillow bin you know a lot of these thrift stores just have bins and bins of throw pillows take a look at them I've, we found some really cool stuff next we have this glass tray you can tell that I've had this a while I have it on the wood background but uh, gave 50 cents for this and it was new it still has a sticker on the bottom it's a fringe studio see the sticker there just a uh, nine by four and a half glass tray and like I said 50 cents sold for ten dollars plus 550 shipping even packaged up really well this was light enough it still went first class so that was even a, a doubly good deal so. these socks these skyline this is the Cleveland skyline uh, socks I got uh, like 15 or 18 pair of these at, a, at an auction about a year and a half ago for a dollar a pair and they've sold slowly but surely for you know this six to eight dollar range I took an offer on this one of course 615 plus 375 shipping but uh, yeah just a little good sell next we have this Quirkle um, probably wouldn't buy this again unless it was brand new uh, fun game and it was all there you know I got all the pieces out counted them everything was there the bag the instructions the box box had a little edge worn off but uh, only gave a dollar for this and it sold for 769 plus 850 shipping somebody paid more in shipping than they did for the game but that's what it costs it's heavy it has those heavy wooden tiles and uh, yeah like I said I probably would uh, only sell this again if it was brand new in the wrap well this one's really neat this Anne Rice the Sleeping Beauty, Beauty trilogy I, I'm, I'm a fan of Van you know of Anne Rice you know the uh, Vampire Chronicles um, but I didn't know about this one when I saw it on the shelf I picked it up just instinctively because I know who Anne Rice is and um, comped it out in the store later and I was pleasantly surprised I only gave uh, two dollars for this whole set this trilogy and it was brand new you know you can tell these books are brand new because their paperbacks and the spines aren't creased in any way even if you don't fold a paperback back on itself it'll still crack the spine when you open it to read it so it's a really good brand new set and it sold really quickly for thirty dollars twenty nine ninety nine plus uh, three sixty eight media mill shipping so and like I said give I gave, gave a couple bucks for this see its retail sticker there forty eight bucks new so yeah really good deal for me really good deal for whoever bought it so keep an eye out for that little trilogy 
Next we have this another CD set, this Tommy Dorsey, Frank Sinatra, five CD set with booklet. Really cool. What I do on these is when I find something that I think I would like to, this was opened already, is in very good condition. I went ahead and ripped all these discs to my computer so I have all these songs still and then I sold on the set. Only gave a couple dollars for the set and it sold relatively quickly for $24.99 plus $8.50 priority mail shipping. They took a picture of the discs, really clean. Yeah, so don't ignore your CDs and these CD sets, that's the second one in here of sold. Oh, the first garage sale item, this uh, got this at a garage sale for $5 or 10. I think it was $10 gave ten dollars for this and uh, it was brand new in the wrap uh, not a big margin on this you know after ship after fees and everything I only made about a ten dollar profit but it sold really quickly so ten bucks really quick you know it's like finding ten dollars on the ground kind of the uh, UPC was cut off so what I figured is someone bought this for like a mail-in rebate and uh, didn't ever use it So yeah, I just picked it up at the garage sale for 10 bucks, passed it on, made a little profit. Not bad. Oh, this one was really cool too. We got this at a uh, charity thrift quite a far ways away from us. And I've only been to the, that charity thrift. It's to the uh, west of us two or three times. They're kind of high priced on stuff, but uh, this was the best thing I've ever found there by far. I gave a... Uh, ten dollars for this and it was like new it was opened but it was like new in its box this Rubik's touch cube I check that out look looks like just brand new I still list it as used though because it was but just such good condition and turn that ten dollars and this sold really quickly for one twenty four ninety nine plus eight fifty shipping so yeah, I didn't even know this thing existed, but when I saw it, I knew it was really cool. So I looked it up and I'm like, yeah, bingo. I know I can do well on this. Next we have this. So I pick these up every time I see them. This is another local thing. You know, I've, I've covered my uh, Marine Corps Marathon t-shirts. And this is another local thing I find quite frequently is this Maryland Renaissance Festival mugs. And these are heavy duty, real deal mugs they're made by gray fox pottery which makes a really high quality product and they you know they sell slowly but surely they're long tail but they definitely sell and i pick these up all the time for 50 cents a piece and this one was like like you know i listed it as used but it was like new condition you know you can't even see any stains or marks or anything on it so someone probably bought this at the festival and set it on their shelf and eventually just got donated really cool sold for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents plus seven ninety shipping next though this was really cool too this uh, Under Armour which you know I buy a lot of Under Armour I buy a lot of athletic stuff but this was a, uh, a hoodie and it had a DOJ FBI patch on the arm now check that out another good thing about being in our local area is you know all this stuff is right next to us all the government facilities the made you know the FBI all that stuff is right close to us and this was not even an ideal size it was a medium it was definitely worn but it wasn't in horrible condition or anything and this sold I got this for just a few dollars and it sold really quickly for $49.99 plus $7.25 shipping so awesome sale I always pick up this stuff with cool government patches on it and I think I've had a few in some of my uh, haul videos as well military patches DOJ FBI ATF NSA CIA all that good stuff all right next we have this uh, new with the tags Tommy Bahama women's shirt and had this for a while and uh, probably 
you know, fifteen dollars is probably low for this, and I probably should have priced this at twenty or twenty-five in hindsight. But it did sell. I only gave you know two or three dollars for it, so it still made money. But uh, yeah, brand new with the tags. Check out that retail price, one hundred eighteen dollars. Good size, large. Yeah, just a really nice little short sleeve button up shirt. And last thing, we have a, uh, a Ralph Lauren classic fit blue stripe uh, 2XL shirt. And this sold for $20 plus $5.15 shipping. Gave $2.50 for this. So this, I mean, like last sold video, I showed, you know, the L.O. Bean shirts. And shirts are hit and miss. You know, a lot of factors, conditions, size design style this one was really cool because it was a blue pinstripe with the red pony people kind of dig that contrast combination with the 2xl at 20 bucks plus 515 shipping really good sell so yeah that's 25 things that sold like i said late april early may uh, i will do another one of these next week but towards the end of may and stuff things really died down because i was out of town for a while but I'll see if I can cobble together. It may be a shorter sold video, but yeah, like, subscribe, comment. You know, I will respond. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you with our haul video next Tuesday. Bye.